versus Lesnar, Cormier versus Jones, Woodley versus Maya, Cyborg winning the championship, Dos Santos versus Velasquez. So many people have come to this arena as champion and lost those titles. What history will you make tonight? Big punch lands through the middle. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Nice shot to the body there. He is all about that left kick to the body. Oh, caught him with a head kick. That at least partially landed. Oh, my goodness. He got kicked in the head, and he's still standing. All right, under three minutes now to go in round one. Strike attempt there is blocked. He misses with the right hand. Came of inches right there, Damn boy. It. Wow. It was a good night at that landed. And now he's got the tie clinch. Ooh, big shot land. Under two minutes now to go. I mean, he's cutting them down the side with these beautiful leg kicks. Able to check that kick as well. Oh, massive kick! Didn't see that one coming. Oh! Try to establish that jab. Check the high kick. His leg is hurt here. You can see him limping a little bit. The uppercut flails and misses. And that one certainly found the target. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Oh, he lands a massive kick here. Highlights from that previous round. A lot of high-level leg kicking going on there, champ. And he did a great job of hiding it. He wasn't giving any sign that he was going to throw those leg kicks. That's why you didn't see his opponent check any of the kicks. And it won't take many more for him to really damage the mobility of the other combatants. All right, here we go as our next round gets underway. His strong leg packs so much power that even when he doesn't throw it full throttle, you see he's able to inflict damage. We'll see if he can keep it going here in this He round. doesn't throw it full power, but even when he faints it, he draws out reactions from his opponents because they don't want to get hit with any more of those kicks. It's a sight to behold. Ooh, now he's got the tie plum, Daniel. If you're on the other side, what are you trying to do to get out of this potentially dangerous position? You gotta start digging your shoulder to a side and then trying to shove an underhook. You cannot bend down to try to get out of Muay Thai clinch. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also going to be able to land. He's got to be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. 
Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. his opponent still stand. I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's gonna be over very soon. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. Looks like his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit. Big kick land. Whoa! Oh, it's a nice high kick. It's a nice job of hiding that head kick. Goes back to that left kick once again. When you're in a clinch, you can pull down on the head and land these beautiful punches to the back. And he connects there. Nice leg kick lands. Oh, as good a counter striker as there is in the game. Straight right is good. on the straight right hand. That kick blocked by Lou. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Ten right. minutes in the books. All right, there's the end of the round. We'll show you some of the highlights. It must feel pretty damn good to knock a man down like that. It feels good to knock a man down. And most times, you don't even feel it. It's the ones that you don't even recognize that landed hard are the ones that usually put your opponent out. It landed right on the sweet spot, and he hurt his opponent very badly. Next round is now underway. Hopefully the action continues at a high level. Pretty good first five minutes. Pretty good first five minutes. Both of them can really pick it up. Let's see who decides they're going to lead the dance as we go forward. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Big punch man over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Shots coming Man, this way. Get that out of here. He sees it coming. You're gonna have to mix it up. Shake that finger. Shake that finger. Nice kick. Three minutes. What a punch. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Well, we wondered earlier why there weren't as many body strikes. He's making up for lost time here. Shot. Thunderous leg kick rounds his opponent. Tried to stay upright, but man, that changed the complexion of this fight. Johnny's hurt. He's hurt really badly by that one big leg kick. Oh, thunderous leg kick rounds his opponent. Tried to stay upright, but man, that changed the complexion of this fight. Johnny's hurt. He's hurt really badly by that one big leg kick. Nice punch there. Oh, thunderous leg kick rounds his opponent and tried to stay upright. But man, that changed the complexion of this fight. Johnny's hurt. He's hurt really badly by that one big leg kick. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Lee's cheek 
looks like it's cut here, starting to bleed a little bit now. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. Oh, he's had a huge strike right there. I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shots that he landed. Great job. Anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. All right, side control now. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Punch on the top. So there is the horn at times in that previous round. I didn't think we'd get here after that head kick nearly had him out of there. It was a good round leading up to that. But when you take a head kick like that, when your opponent gets your entire body into that kick, usually the night's over. Very tough to still be standing, but he can't take many more like that. Just misses with the kick. Real sneaky head kick gets in there. Lunges forward with a left there. <laughs> Trying to kick the leg out. Visibly limping here. Blocks the shot. Nice punch lands over the top. Right under the elbow. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Well, he continues to offer up the kick here, but just misses with that one. Checks the leg kick. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. It's such a fast leg kick. Leg kick after leg kick after oh, leg kick. Thunderous leg kick rounds his opponent tried to stay upright, but man, that changed the complexion of this fight. Johnny's hurt. He's hurt really badly by that one big leg kick. Well, he is really starting to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. And they separate. Head kick there, blocked by Lee. Big kick land. Well, looks as though his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit. There's no tell on that leg kick. Well, he's up, but he is hurting for certain. The finish could come at any time. That one snuck in. Nice strike. Just misses there with the left. Punches blocked. Oh, vicious kick to the outside of that lead leg. You gotta start checking these, you man. Gotta check these kicks, or you're gonna be limping around the octagon very short. Check yourself before you wreck yourself. Oh, that's a nice strike. They continue to exchange. And they separate. Maybe so have we, your winner by TKO. That was a great performance. Way to land those strikes and go and chase down the finish when you get an opportunity. So there he is after the big TKO victory here tonight. He had some doubters coming in. He certainly muted those naysayers here tonight. 
Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mugliotta is going to stop in this contest at four minutes, 46 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by TKO, Bruce the Dragon.